Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been away a bit. I, this is my first day out of bed since Saturday. So it's going to be a quick one because I'm still not right. Um, what I'm going to do is a quick review. Not a very long one. Uh, we're going to be trying the Your Sugar Stamping Gel. I've got one in white. I thought these would be the best ones to try. And we've got one in black. Um, and obviously I've already done a white and a black nail ready to do that and also I'm going to be trying I haven't even taken these out of the box yet uh, the Born Pretty Poly Extension Gel one's number seven I know one's I've got a, I bought a clear one and I think the other one's like a, a not even a cover pink I don't think I haven't um we haven't even taken the top off so let's have a look what they are and we'll be doing these ones as well just one nail of each if we can actually get the top off Sorry about the gloves, guys, but I've got really sore fingers at the moment and I can't be doing with acrylic and stuff. Oh, God. Right, that one looks like the... That one's the clear. I'll finish taking that off later so you haven't got to watch me struggle for ages. And this one's number one. I think it's a sheer pink, actually. I don't think it's a full cover pink. It's just one to try because um, I've always wanted to try these ones uh, since they came out. Oh, I'm going to get this one. No, this one's also going to be a git to come off oh there we go yeah that looks like it's going to be a sheer pink but we're going to give those a go later as well so first we're going to get on with the stamping like i say it's going to be a really quick one the nails are already prepped and ready to go now i'm going to do one i'm going to use this one which is the born pretty x08 um it's got really lovely writing on them butterflies and stuff so um, I thought we'd probably try the white polish on that one. Now from, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, where's my, there we, there we go, need a black one. So what I've seen everybody do is just put a very thin layer on, literally a little skinny layer. And where's my scraper? Do you know, it's one of those days yet again. There we go, found the scraper. Okay. And then we're going to just going to scrape. And I think we need to sort of scrape, keep scraping because it's gel. It's not going to dry. So we'll try and get as much as we can off the top of the plate. I'm going to be using my Born Pretty Clear. Wow. That picks up so nice. So let's have a look. Can we put this on? Do the butterflies. There we go. That's actually really good. I'm very impressed with that. Didn't go all the way to the end, but that's my problem, not theirs. But that is so good. And there's an awful lot left on there, so I'm guessing I haven't got anything black. But hang on a minute. Let's have a look at these. I've got some black nails here. So, so good having spares. I've already cut my flipping gloves. Right, OK. I'm just going to try this one as well. I've got a black nail. I'm just going to try over what I've already got. So it will actually, I'm assuming you're going to get at least two, two nails out of that gel. So next I'm going to try the white. So let me clean this up. And I'm just using isopropyl alcohol with this just to give it a wipe off. And a lint free, and a lint free pad. Okay, so we're going to try a different plate. I'm going to try this is the Time Travel Born Pretty X L023 plate. So we're going to see how the black goes. Right, this is just a tiny bit apparently, so because I'm only doing a small nail, I don't need to put a massive amount on, I don't think. If I turn it round, you might be able to see better if we do it that way. Right, okay, so to go down and get the excess off. Wow, that is, I've got to say, that's impressive. Hang on, get this on there. Now, I think it's a little bit, I don't know whether you can see, it's a little bit grainy. So, I think the second coat, if you do it twice, it's going to come off much better. 
Hang on, let me try this box. Try the box to do the second one. That comes off a lot better. It, it, the first coat seems to pick all the grain up that you've left on the plate, but that is gorgeous. So I'm just going to pop these in the lamp and I'll meet you back. There we go. That's those ones done. That's the black over the white and the white over the black. That was, um, I think I'd left that. I'd, I'd stamped it three times before I did that one. So it will be much brighter when you're probably on the second one. But I've got to say, I'm really impressed with those. Um, they're actually really good and you need the tiniest bit. So, you know, they're going to last for ages. I think I've bought 29 altogether to different colours. So, you know, I couldn't just have one or two to try. I thought, well, if I'm having one, I need the lot. So there we go. But I just thought the black and white ones may be the best ones to try in this situation. Right, next. Now, I did have a brush somewhere. Oh, here we go. I don't really want to use my new brush, but we're going to be trying this poly gel. Ah, we have light, okay. And it is the Born Pretty one, and that one is number one, which I think might be is it the pink, the pink. Right, okay. So I'm, I haven't got the Born Pretty slip solution because um, these was a last minute buy. I didn't know what to get, uh, but I have got the Your Sugar one. So, and it's Crystal Nail Gel Nail Liquid Slip Solution by, oh, that's better, you can see better that way, your sugar. So I've got to pop a little bit in my dappen dish. Get out my brush. Now, don't shout at me guys if I get this wrong, because I don't know how to use this really. So it's just something I wanted to try. So I am assuming we're going to have to put a lollipop. Where's my little thing that I use? Why is it you can never find things when you want them? Okay, we're going to have to try it. Okay, I'm about, I know I shouldn't have got up today. Right, okay, let's, let's get, sorry, out of shot once again. Let's get this out. Now, I don't know how much I need to be using. So, it's all... trial and error. I think it's going to be more than that. The thing is these are only, I think they're 20 mil things so they're not going to get very far I wouldn't have thought but we'll give them a go. Okay. Just going to get all that off the side. Where it's not one nut. Okay. If I dip into my slip solution guessing we're going to be able to push it about I would have thought it's actually really tough which to be fair is good last time I bought one um I can't remember the brand now but it was horrendous and it was just it was supposed to be a poly gel but it kept running everywhere and I couldn't do anything with it so I'm pleasantly surprised that this is as oh, lost a bristle out now, brand new brush as well. Um, right, okay. Oh, my bristles are coming out, it's a new brush. Gutted. Right, never mind. Good job I don't use gel very much, isn't it? So I'm assuming, oh, for goodness sake. Right, I'm just going to get a new brush, guys. Okay. Now I've got my really nice new brush, so this one better not fall to bits, otherwise I'm going to be rather peeved. Okay, so I'm assuming. We're just going to have to smooth it all down. Is that, is that right? And the boxes don't really tell you much. They just, well, they don't tell you anything. So I'm pretty much going on what I've seen. So let me just go and clean my brush up again. It's, it's actually softened up a little bit now, which is, which is good. But I'm assuming you just smooth it all down. I mean, I'm thinking for a beginner who's 
start them in the acrylic game if you're not quite sure whether you want to do acrylic this is going to be a godsend especially if you're a slow worker like me and half the time the acrylic sets before you've got it into place uh, this might be something that I'll continue to try or use on myself if I can get the hang of it I mean I suppose it's easy to get the hang of once you get going it's a bit more slip solution that's that's not bad actually there you go I don't think that's too bad for a first time my very first time using it so a little bit uneven there Put some more solution on it I don't think that's bad at all I mean I didn't do a proper shaped nail either it was, I literally just snipped the end off and that was it because I don't want to be sat here all day with my bad back so but that's not bad I'm going to cure that in the lamp it doesn't say so I'm going to stick it in for 60 seconds first and see how we go okay well that one's in the lamp we're going to try number seven and I thought oh, stand up. we could try and see if it'll encapsulate anything so I'm going to go in with Disco Ball by Glitter Stella which is stunning um, just to see how clear it is and I, I've heard a lot of them aren't that clear so we will see so I'm gonna try and squeeze a bit out here we go it's actually really quite tough to get out okay that's lovely so okay let's get that on the nail Get my slip solution and my brush. I mean, for this, we're only going to need a thin layer anyway, so just pop it down thinly. This one seems a little bit easier to move about than the other one. It doesn't seem to stick to the brush as much, or it's me doing something a bit different this time. Drain some of that off because it's flooding. There we go. So I'm just going to pull that. I don't know whether you can see that very well, guys. Sorry. I couldn't get a background that the black you couldn't see it and the white you can't see it. So we're kind of stuck. Right. Let's pull that bit down. Try and get a full clear base. Okay, I'm going to drain a little bit off my brush now and just try and smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, as I was saying, a lot of um, these ones aren't that clear. They're quite um, foggy, I suppose. So I thought we'd try Disco Ball because it is a beautiful glitter. And if anything's going to sparkle through it, it's going to be that. So I'm just going to clean my brush off. Okay, let's get a few of these. They're so pretty. I'm just going to pick them up with my brush. Pop them on. These have been in my collection for ages and I haven't used them yet because they just seem too nice to use. And I haven't found an appropriate set where they would look, show off their true potential, shall we say. So they're just sat in a little box. But while I'm doing this, um, I'll mention at the end as well, if I can get, um, well it's an upcoming competition, not yet, I haven't got it together yet, but it'll be a competition where um, there's um, a prize up for grabs. But I will show you some of the bits I've got for it at the end, because um, I'm still putting things in it. And I'm just trying to hang on a little while, and then we'll get that up and running once I'm freezing a bit better. Okay, so I think, I think that'll do. Pop one there. One there. Right, come off the bloody brush. Um, see, I'm faffing. Right, okay. I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 30 seconds 
see how we go. Okay, so that's that done. That seems pretty hard. It probably could do with a bit longer, but it's all going in together soon. Right, so next bit, the state of my thumbs. Bring that out a little bit. I'm going to, if I could actually get it out of the tube, I'm going to have to get this top layer done. And I'm going to quite a bit on that and somehow lay it. If I do it like that, that might, yeah, that might help. That might be a better way of getting it off. Okay. So we've got, I've put that much on. It's not a massive amount. It may need more because I'm not sure how much you use for these things. So, so it's, this is new to me. So we'll see how we go, if we can get that a bit bigger. There we go. All right, I'm going to go in my slip solution again. I'm just going to pat it down for now. We're definitely going to need a little bit more, I think. Perhaps, I don't know. It needs to be thicker. I think some of the um, it wasn't quite set underneath, hence why some of these glitters are coming off. So let me just clear that away. It's definitely going to need a little bit more. I didn't put, I didn't put nearly enough on there, and one corner hasn't even got anything on yet. So. I'll pop a little bit more on that. So, if I get my... Come on, this is... I'm going to put a big bit up there. Get it off. Another bit down the middle. messy but as everyone knows I'm a messy worker so let's get this stuck down that's better I don't think it's going to be that thick a nail really it just looks thick from the angle I'm working at but it's just as everyone knows I don't work very neat the finished product usually looks all right but while I'm doing it it's a bit of a nightmare I'm not gonna lie push it all into place and then I can go over the top. Loads there. Got a little bit excited there I think. Let's get that back in the corner. I hope I'm not going out of shot. And I hope you're not too bored watching this. I'm sorry I'm not um, as quick and elegant as some of the YouTubers on there. But those that know me just no one crap at this kind of stuff, so not so much crap, just messy and slow, shall we say. Okay. So I'm gonna take that off the end. Don't need it. Take that off the end. Right, I'm going to pop this in the lamp and I'm going to give it a file and see how it turns out. Okay, right. This is the layer number one, which is actually, that's not bad, that's quite a nice colour. But I haven't top coated this one yet. I thought we'd save this one. So you can see at the same time as me whether it's actually any good. Um, I mean, so far that doesn't look too bad. I mean, it hasn't had a proper file. I've just literally smoothed it. It's not shaped or anything. This is just a test, so just to see how clear it is. Okay, well, I'm going to pop it in the lamp and um, see if that helps. Okay. 
Okay, guys, so there's the the glitter one with Disco Ball in. To be, um, I'm not that impressed. I think if you're using a glitter that isn't actually shiny and it's it's just a dull something or other, um, it may be okay. Um, or if you're just having a plain colour in your capping, then I think it would be all right. But for glitters, that's not that impressive, I'm afraid. Um, but the pink one I quite like. Like I say, it might be all right for capping something plain, but definitely not for glitters. That doesn't look right. But I do quite like this one. That one's not bad at all. Um, and these, I'm they're going to blend in with the background now, aren't they? Really impressed with these polishes. Um, I was a little bit reluctant gel stamping polishes. Thought I'm not sure how that's going to work, but it's really good. I'm really impressed. So. Um, yeah, that's not bad at all. So I know it was, I said it was going to be a quick review and it's actually turned out longer than I thought because I've, well, I've been faffing as usual. Um, but I hope it's helped people um, who's thinking of trying this stuff. I mean, for the money, they're brilliant value. So, you know, can't complain. Um, so the clear's a little bit iffy, but it's, it's still all right. So there you go. Hope that helps. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. There we go, guys. Um, I'm back again just briefly to explain about this giveaway, which I did say um, I would mention. I won't be doing it for a while yet. Like I said, I'm going to wait till I'm up and running and feeling a little bit better. Um, but this will be something um, for subscribers. If I can reach a certain amount of sub subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. Um, the bits I've got so far are some Model 1's... Um, bits and pieces in there there's uh files and um i don't know if they're polish removers or cleaning wipes or something anyway there's some bits popped in there and there's also a little mini lamp which i will show you there we go okay it's quite cute i really should have kept this for myself really but you know and it also comes with charging needs and everything in there. I'm also going to pop in a stamping plate. Now I have one of these and it's sculpted and various things. It is really nice. So that will be popped in. Now, um, like I say, I'll, I'll set it up once I get all the bits together, what I'll, I'll be putting in. Um, should be glitters and some bits and pieces for you to make up a nice little um, giveaway package. Um, and that's it for now, so I shall see you soon. Bye.